Thank you for renting with Crewmate Rentals. We're here at the Landover property. Uh, this orientation video is to get you familiar with the pontoon boat before you arrive, show you where all the uh, equipment is on board, to uh, tell you a little bit about the check-in policy, and tell you a little bit about what you do when you return the boat. When you arrive here at Landover, you'll see the pontoon boat is parked on the port-hand side of the boat or the left-hand side of the boat. All you need to do is do a nice little U-turn, park the boat with the bow facing out towards the lake, so that people can board on the left hand side of the boat. Real nice and easy. Uh, so let's jump on the boat and go over the equipment. All right, all of the crewmate pontoon boats will have four fenders, two on each side. Uh, we actually strap the fenders to the rails of the pontoon boats. We do not want you to try to take these fenders off. If you don't want them over the side of the boat, you can just hang them over the seats in the pontoon boat so that they don't fly away. We don't want you to lose those. Also with the dock lines, there we have two dock lines, both on the port side of the boat or the left-hand side of the boat. We've actually zip-tied those to the cleats of the boat. We don't want you to lose these dock lines. A lot of people will just leave them at the restaurant. So once you're untied from the dock, just lay the dock lines up over the side of the boat. That way you don't lose that equipment. All right, as for equipment on the boat, stored underneath the seats are our life jackets, our adult size life jackets. So you'll see all the orange universal adult size life jackets are stowed up underneath the seats. Anyone under the age of 13 needs to have a life jacket on at all times. We recommend that you bring those because we do not have those here at the property. Underneath the front corner pocket seats are anchors. You'll have two for each boat. You'll make sure to anchor the pontoons off the bow of the boat. In the back right hand corner seat, if you lift the seat up, you'll see this orange dry box. Inside this orange dry box is your registration, a safety whistle, and the key to the boat. When you arrive, the first day of your reservation, you'll text crewmates and we'll give you a key to the lockbox here. And um, once you are finished with the pontoon boat, just make sure that you lock the boat, uh, lock the key in the, in the orange dry box as well. Next to the driver's seat, you'll see the throw cushion. This throw cushion is the first thing you're gonna throw in the water in case of an emergency. So it's, uh, you need to make sure you have this out readily available to throw in the water. Also, next to the driver's seat is our map of Lake Wiley. On the front, you'll see the rules of the road, docking instructions, anchoring instructions, and the different buoys you'll see out on the lake. If you open up the map, we'll have a full, full Lake Wiley map here for you as well. Also on the helm of the pontoon boat, you'll see your return checklist and your anchoring checklist. On the dashboard, we have a few different gauges. We have your fuel gauge. It's important to remember the rule of thirds. A third of the, a third of the fuel is used to get to where you're going, a third of the fuel is used to drive around, and a third of the fuel is used to return the boat. You don't want to uh, run out of fuel, so following that rule is great. RPM gauge is here. The most fuel efficient RPM is about 4,500 RPM. So if you're just cruising the lake and want to conserve fuel, about 4,500 RPMs is great. Speedometer is here. Depth gauge is right here. Important thing to note about the depth gauge is this will only read when you're running slowly. If you're running at full speed, this will not report the correct depth. Um, the sonar just runs straight down and straight back up. Um, so you need to be running at a low speed for that to operate. Under no circumstances should you be running at full speed unless you uh, are in the dead center of the lake and you know you're in deep water. So here on the dashboard we also have your navigation light, a courtesy light which is an interior light, and your power button. This power switch brings power to the radio and the depth finder. Other than that the boat will operate just fine without the power switch on, but you need to make sure you always turn this power switch off when you're done with the boat so it doesn't drain the battery. All right. Here we have our Bluetooth radio. All you need to do is power the uh, pontoon boat up and switch the source mode to Bluetooth and you'll be able to link your phone to this, to this stereo. Also behind the captain's seat we have a fire extinguisher. Um, that's latched to the floor so just leave it where it is in case you need it. We also have a 48 quart cooler on all of our pontoon boats. This is nice convenience uh, so you don't have to bring a cooler with you on your vacation. Just make sure you leave this cooler clean so that the next, next guests have it clean when they arrive. Alright on the back of the boat we want to talk about a few things. First and foremost is the prop. 
When you arrive, you'll be asked to send crewmates a picture of the propeller to show us the quality of the propeller before you start. And then at the end of your reservation, you'll have to send us a checkout photo of the propeller as well to make sure you didn't damage it. On the back of the boat is the aluminum ladder. This needs to be up and latched at all times when you're not moving, uh, excuse me, when you're moving. Um, and then of course down when you have people in the water. You do not want to operate the boat with the ladder in the water. It's always important to have a secondary lookout on the boat and one of the jobs for the secondary lookout is to make sure the ladder is up before the driver starts the motor. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was the fuel tank. The fuel tank back here, um, the fuel gauge on these pontoon boats sometimes gets stuck and doesn't read the appropriate fuel. So a good uh, trick to know exactly how much fuel you have is to look at the back side of the fuel, fuel tank and you'll see the fuel line on the back of the water tank, uh, excuse me, on the back of the fuel tank here. That's another good way to double check how much fuel you have. So if you're just really curious to know how much fuel you have, if you look on the back side of the fuel tank back here, you'll know exactly how much fuel you have left. All right, for safety on the pontoon boat, you need to make sure that everyone's seated at all times while the boat is on. Anyone under the age of 13 needs to have a life jacket on at all times. Doesn't matter if the boat's on, off, moving or not. We do not provide children size life jackets, so anyone under the under the age of 13, you need to bring a life jacket for them. Uh, like I said in the equipment, all of the adult size life jackets are, are on the boat. Um, <clears throat> drivers and renters need to understand the front of the boat is the most dangerous. If anything or anyone goes over the front of the boat, there's nothing the driver can do from stopping them from hitting the prop. So definitely you don't want to be standing up at the front of the boat in case the driver needs to make a sudden adjustment on the throttle handle. Um, you have the, the ability to fall over the front of the boat, and that's, that's really dangerous. You don't want to have anyone uh, hanging over the sides of the boat for the same reason. Any kind of adjustment uh, on the driver's side or, or any kind of weight could, could cause you to fall off the side of the boat. Most importantly, with safety, you need to have a secondary lookout on the boat other than the driver. The secondary lookout's job is to help the driver identify debris in the waterway to navigate around it, to identify any other boaters that might not be paying attention, and to keep track of everyone on board. Um, with that goes when you're swimming, you need, the secondary lookout's job is to make sure that no one is in distress, making sure everyone's back on board and seated before the secondary lookout gives the driver the, um, the okay to start the engine. The secondary lookout's job is also to make sure the ladder is up in the latch position as well. Alright, so that's it for our orientation video. If you have any questions, please give uh, crewmates a call or a text message. We'll, we're available 24-7. Make sure the boat's always parked back at the dock by dusk. And um, there's also some on-water emergency numbers on the map. Uh, if you have any like serious emergency, obviously call 911. But uh, non-emergency numbers, you can either call crewmates or the number on the map. Um, thank you for renting from crewmates, and we hope you enjoy our pontoon boat. Thanks.